Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another top 10 Minecraft mods, this time for 1.12.2 of February 2019, and all of the mods will be linked in the description, so if you want to check them out, you can find them there. And anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. At number 10, we have the Kalitra mod, and this is a pretty simple mod which will allow you to actually use an Elytra with a chest plate of some kind. And this is very great because it's fairly annoying to have to pick between one or the other, so it's a really nice mod to have if you find yourself with this problem quite often. At number 9 we have the Deadly World mod and this mod makes it so when you're exploring caves it's going to be a bit tougher than usual so in other words it's for those of you that thinks caves are simply too easy and it'll add a bunch of spawners everywhere and other kinds of dangerous elements to your world which in general can make exploring just much more interesting. At number 8 is another fairly simple mod and this is the Back Tools mod and the effect of it is just really cool because it'll make it so whenever you switch between two different items so between say a sword and a bow the previous item will move to your back and the switch will continue to happen as you switch between your weapons and it's just a really cool effect that's in some other games and I think it fits very well in Minecraft. At number 7 we have the ender storage mod and this mod works fairly similar to regular ender chests however these ones are actually color codable so you can connect two specific chests to one another and have many ender chests essentially. And there's also a pouch in this mod which can connect to the chests so while you're out exploring you can put items into this pouch and they will find themselves in your chest when you get home. At number 6 we have the here's what you are looking at mod otherwise known as Huayla and this mod literally shows you exactly what you are looking at whether it's a block or a mob in game and this can be incredibly helpful if you have a bunch of mods installed because a lot of the time you simply will not know what the item is that you are looking at and it also shows you the health of creatures which can also be fairly helpful. At number 5 we have the multi mine mod and this mod is probably something you have been wanting in Minecraft for quite a while and what it actually does is allows you to stop mining a block and then continue doing so within a bit of time. If you wait too long it'll revert back to its normal state but this takes about 10 seconds and it's very helpful for those of you that have found yourself digging a block of obsidian only to accidentally move and stop mining it. Everyone's had that kind of situation and it's very annoying and this mod fixes that for you. At number 4 we have the little tiles mod and this mod provides some blocks which you can actually customize pixel by pixel so you can create pretty much whatever you want from these and while that takes quite a while to do, in the end if you're an artistic person it definitely will be worth it. At number 3 is the Chunk Pre-Generator mod, and this mod is pretty much the savior for anyone that constantly creates new worlds, hoping to find the perfect seed, as it allows you to actually see what your world will look like before you even load into it. And this mod is also very helpful for server creators, as it allows you to pre-generate the chunks of your world, which is something that most servers are recommended to do. At number 2, we have the Mousies Mobs mod, and this mod adds about half a dozen new creatures to your game, and while that isn't very many, all of them are very high quality, and the aggressive ones provide really good fights when you are playing, so if you're kind of sick of the regular mobs in Minecraft, you'll definitely want to install this mod. Finally, at number 1, we have the Ice and Fire mod, and this mod just seems to impress me more and more every single time I load into it, as I find more features every single time, and this mod adds many new creatures to the game and all of them are actually very difficult to fight and have their own unique strategies when they attack you and overall I think it's a mod that most people should install if they want to add a whole lot of challenge to the game. Alright guys that concludes this video and if you would like me to include a mod in the future go ahead and let me know about it in the comments below and I will definitely go check it out and if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and until next time thanks for watching.